Hello, everybody. Thank you, everybody who's tuning in. Have a really fun activity with a really awesome special guest that I'd like to welcome everybody. So, all the way from London, United Kingdom, I'd like to welcome an awesome guest, Gabrielle. Yeah. Hey, guys. Thank you. Thank you for joining us. All right. So, You're welcome. Thank you for having me. Oh, of course, man. Of course. So, Gabrielle is going to be doing an awesome hand pan activity with us that we can all follow along with at home. So our hand pan, as you can see, is this steel drum that Gabrielle has uh, on his lap. So what we're going to do is we're going to use our own hand pan and play along with Gabrielle. All right. So I want everybody to see if you can find something steel in your house that we can use as a hand pan for today. So it could be either a pot or a pan. I have this steel mixing bowl, okay? So maybe not the same as our, our actual instrument, but that steel sound still, still makes that echo, still makes that noise that we can use to play along with Gabrielle, All right? So everyone see if you can find some kind of steel um, uh, item at home, either a pot or a pan that we can use as our hand pan for today. All right, once everyone finds their hand pan for today, we're going to make our notes on the hand pan. So we're going to be playing along with Gabriel. He's going to teach us and show us some melodies and, and how we use our fingers. Okay, so for the hand pan, we have eight notes. Okay, so what I did is just used pieces of tape. Okay, at home, you can use post-its or you can use some colored pieces of tape like blue tape right? Painter's tape, different color tape so you can see a little better. Um, but this way it's better than writing on our actual pot um, or pan or whatever we're using. Okay. So the, inch, the, the way that we make our notes is we're looking at the notes from farthest away from us. Okay. So our very top is our main note. That's our zero, right? So if you look at Gabrielle's hand pan, you see on top, that's the zero. Okay. So on our hand pans at home, we're going to put either on our tape or our post-it, our letter or our number zero right on top. That's our zero. Okay, then farthest away from us, we have our number one. So you see on Gabriel's where he just pointed, that's his number one. Okay, so farthest away from us, we have our number one. Then to our left side. Okay, so remember, we can use our fingers to see our right and left, the one that looks like an L. That's our left side, right? And it might be flipped on the, on the camera, right? But on our left side, that becomes our number two. Okay, so see where Gabrielle is pointing? That's our number two. And across from it, we have our number three. Okay, then we come down to the middle. We have our number four. Okay, on the other side, we have our number five. Okay. Then we have two of them that are closest to our bodies, maybe where our, our right and left leg are, and that's our number six and number seven. Okay. So when we have our hand pen on our lap, right, we have our number one on top, then we have two and three, four and five, and closest to us are six and seven. Right. So it looks like this. Okay, and our zero in the middle. All right. Then we can use our hand pen, and Gabrielle's going to take us through some notes, take us through the melodies. Okay, so, um, so, so when we're playing hand pan, right, when we're more experienced, we can use our different fingers in different ways. But today, our only fingers that we need is our pointer fingers and our thumbs. All right, so everybody can get their fingers ready, just wiggling those pointer fingers, wiggling those thumbs, right? These are the fingers we'll be using for today. Okay, so, um, so Gabrielle, maybe we can start just seeing how each note sounds, each number sounds, using our fingers to see how each note sounds. Yeah, sure. So let's start from the first note, number one. Then we go number two. Then number three. Then four. And five, 
Can we use the thumb, number six? And number seven, again, with the thumb. Then we go zero. So, once, one more time. Okay, awesome. I just, I turned off my volume just so all the um, sound can come from yours, but mine sounded, oops, and I'll bring mine down too. So mine sounded one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, zero. All right, so see, see if that's how everyone sounds at home. All right, so we can practice just using our fingers, just hitting the different notes. Our thumbs are for six and seven, and our zero on top. All right, now, uh, Gabrielle, so awesome. Now that we have a little sense of the different notes and which fingers to use for each note, um, maybe you can show us what we can do with some of these notes, how we can make some sound, some beautiful sound. Yeah, sure. Let's start with the easy melody. Um, the pattern, we're going to use the right hand only for now. And the pattern is going to be zero, seven, one, seven. Then we do the same. Well, we change the note number one with the note number two. So it's going to be zero, seven, two, seven. Then same thing with the number three. Zero, seven, three, seven. Then the same thing with the number five. Zero, seven, five, seven. So if we put this together, it's gonna be. Um, so if if we want to add also the left one for make like something a bit more a bit nicer um, we can put uh, a beat in between of every other beat so it's gonna be zero four seven four one so this is gonna be like the main pattern and then of course we're gonna do the same thing with all the other notes as we did before. So zero, four, seven, four, two. Then again with the number three. Zero, four, seven, four, three. Then number five. Zero, four, seven, four, five okay so let's try to put all of this together Okay, cool. So, so, so I like it. So basically, <clears throat> we're using just our right hand, right, to hit all the notes except for that four, right? So, yes. it's, so that first one we did zero seven one seven zero seven two seven zero seven three 
seven zero seven five seven. Yes. And then we added that four just in between. So it was zero four seven four. Okay. Yep. One four. We go to back to the one and seven, or just the zero four. So it's zero four seven four. Zero, four, ah, oh, sorry, zero, four, seven, four, one, four, seven, four. Right, so, okay, so it's that zero, uh, zero, seven, one, seven, zero, seven, two, seven, and we're just adding that four in between every one. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so, right, so how will it sound if we try to put that melody together a little quicker so it's zero and you know at home too we can always write write out these melodies also if um we need a little help following along as well right so zero seven one seven uh and adding that four is zero four seven four one zero seven one seven so zero four seven four one four seven four Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, with, with numbers, it's a bit more complicated than actually doing it. Right. So, yeah, if you got, like, if you just get into the pattern. And then you put the left. is always the same and you just put the left in between every other okay i got you all right awesome so so we can practice this melody at home using our hand pen that we've made and now and, and is this the main melody gabrielle that we use uh, what do you mean um like it, it for uh, for other songs for when we're playing um is this the main kind of that four with that right hand and using our other hand to make um, in between the other notes? Well, this is one of the melodies that you can play. You can play lots of different, of course. Um, yeah, this is one of them. Basically just finding different kind of patterns. Yeah. Okay, so so we got a, a nice basic melody that we learned at home. So maybe we'll try that melody just one more time, and then I can give you a, a chance to... Um, kind of just do your own thing and just show us some some beautiful sound. Would that be all right? If we do just one more time running through that melody? Yeah, sure. Okay, okay ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, I got it, awesome. So just kind of practicing at home, um, you know, see if you can follow along with that melody. And, and that's a, a nice basic melody, but otherwise, like Gabrielle is saying, just following along in that pattern, seeing if you can just move along in that pattern, right? And what other kind of sounds can you make? See what other ways you can make some music using the hand pan. All right, so Gabrielle, let me also just turn it over to you. Okay, let me change it just like this so we can see your screen fully. All right, Gabrielle has also uh, agreed to just share some nice, beautiful music, um, just some nice, beautiful sounds of his own. All right, so Gabrielle, thank you again. Thank you for teaching us these beautiful melodies, these beautiful sounds. And let me turn it over to you. If you want to just show us a, a nice, beautiful song, I, I think everybody would would be very happy and really enjoy hearing it. Okay, so yeah, um, so yeah, I'm gonna start like playing this melody, and then I will improvise a little bit on top of it. Um, just I'm gonna play it a little bit faster. Thank you. 
Ooh. Oh man, that was awesome. Thank you. Wow, that was awesome, man. That was awesome. I was jamming out also with you, right? and I'm sure everybody at home was was jamming along too. So everybody, Gabrielle. Whew. Thank you, man. All right. So hope everyone had, hope everyone had some fun making some music. All right, learning a little melody, drumming along on their handpan at home. All right, if you want, see if you can find some other instruments, make some more music. If you have some other people in your family, right? See what kind of music you can make. Send us, send us in some videos. I'll share it with Gabrielle. All right, we could, we can see what kind of music you're making at home. My email address is on the YouTube page. Um, but if anyone doesn't have it, it's Dan the OT Man One at gmail.com. So take some videos of your own music if you want, send it in, or send me the hand pans that you made. I'd love to see what different desi designs and styles people come up with. Otherwise, Gabrielle, thank you again so much for your time. Thank you for teaching us. Everyone, thank at home. You. Everyone at home, thank you for tuning in, and we'll see everybody next time. <laughs>